Hello my friends and welcome to another pick a card reading. It's really good to have you here. Thank you so much for your love and attention and for clicking on the reading. I'm really excited to be doing it for you. Uh, this is a really interesting subject, uh, one that I don't normally do, but I wanted to make it accessible to those who weren't just thinking about love. Um, it, this is about whether or not someone is watching you secretly online and or who is watching you secretly online and why. Um, it could be for a love interest. It could be for um, like any kind of reason but I just think it's interesting to find out like why they're not actually letting you know that they're watching you online or maybe they're planning to be in contact maybe it's for work or maybe it's romantic I don't know but I just thought it would be a really interesting subject to explore let me know what you think about it um in the comments below but as always we have three pile choices to choose from pile one which is this clear quartz Pile two is this Ulexite, Ulexite. And pile three is this optical calcite. So who is watching you online or secretly watching you online and why? Pile one, pile two, pile three. Timestamps will be in the description box below my friends and I'll see your reading. Bye. Part one, hello and welcome to your reading. So you chose this beautiful um, clear quartz crystal. Okay, there's two things that I get from this. So the way that I got this crystal was as a present. Um, they were um, crystals that were with, you know, there's like crystal water bottle sets that you get. Um, and I got it as a present. And these were like a whole bag, like load of stones, clear quartz crystals that were... Um, with me I have no idea what all the others are but this is what this one is and I don't really have a lot of tumbled quartz which is interesting so it seems to me that somebody is trying to refine their view of you they're trying to um, gain more clarity about you and understand something a little bit clearer they also want to amplify the good kind of uh, thing about you or they want to amp well I don't know if it's good actually um, they want to amplify something. They may be scrutinizing you by watching you online. They may be like, what is this person about? What are they doing? Like, what are they up to? What? Yeah, there's a scrutiny kind of vibe going on here. Um, something that wants to, wants to amplify because quartz is the universal amplifier of um, energies. And we use it in conjunction to amplify um, and to clear. So essentially, it's to understand something in a better context. So let's delve more into the tarot and the oracle cards and see what that is. Okay, moon, you will be guided through the darkness. Now it is reversed. I am going to take it reversed. Um, this person has no idea about you. Like they just don't know anything about you. They, and they want to know about you. They really do. Um, yeah, they really do. They really, really do. They want to know about you. They want to understand what, like, they just want to know more. Okay, so let's have a look um, at some astrology around this. You will be guided through the darkness. Yeah, they're a bit, like, they have no idea about you at all. That's too many cards. Well, one who is secretly watching them and why okay grand treen mm -mm. okay I'm, I'm gonna pull another one <laughs> okay they've got a lot to say by the looks of things it feels like they really want to oh god <laughs> yeah they want to say a lot um I don't know, they may be in a little bit of a denial. Okay, I don't know, I'm going to have to select a card. Um, they may be a little bit in denial that um, they learned something very good from you. They, or they are learning something very good from you. They are feeling something very good from you. They're getting something very good from you. But they're in a bit of denial about it. Um... So they're, 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 they're questioning you. There's this, this scrutiny. It's like, okay, so who's this person? Even though like, maybe I've 
maybe I've seen one of their posts and it's really inspired me, but oh, I don't know. I need to find out more about this person. What are they about? There must be something kind of thing. But I don't know. They, they, they're just trying to find out that there's some, something very good that, that came from whatever interaction that they had with you. Um, maybe it was in person and then they're following you online. It might be that. But yeah, there's something to that effect. Okay, so we've got Uranus. Okay, yeah, I do think it might have been like some kind of chance meeting or something or something that struck them out of the blue that they didn't expect and now they're just like, whoa, you know. Um, if you're some kind of influencer, they might have uh, seen you or like if you do posts or um, I don't know, like... Uh, videos or something like that and then they've seen you online and then they think oh my gosh like this is their stuff is really good like I really I'm learning a lot from what they're saying but who are they how can they have so much influence on me it's a little bit yeah a little bit like that because they are struck by the level of influence to be fair because they're just like wow this person's had a really good um like you know uh impact on me yeah, definitely. They, they, they don't want to admit this at all. That's why they're, they're secretly hiding. And none of the cards want to jump out. And they do, but they don't. Oh, wow. Indecision. I use intuition in all aspects of my life. Um, I don't get that from that card. <laughs> I, I mean, the words say that, but I don't get that from the image. Um, the, I don't know, maybe because it says indecision and I use intuition in all aspects of my life. <coughs> I don't know. Um, got a little bit confused there. Um, hmm. <laughs> this has stoked me. And I think I, that's why I chose this reading because it's, it's it's definitely like reaching into the void. So I like that. Um, so I use intuition in all aspects of my life. I think they try to. I, I don't think they do. What well, what if it was reversed? What would happen? Um, indecision. Um, no, I think. Uh, I think this would be an ideal that they want to do that. Um, yeah, okay. So I think that they want to trust you. They want to trust what you're saying because they feel good vibes from you. They feel that, but then there's something that they don't trust. That it's maybe there's some kind of shadow stuff that's being reflected that causes them to not really want to trust you for some reason. Um, but, but they're drawn to you. They're drawn to you. They want to know more about you. They want to understand you more. They want to recognize you more. They want to see what you're about. They want to know about you. Um, they want to know about your background. They want to know about like who you are. Um, and you may be keeping things on a very... You may be quite, quite closed off and not really um, welcoming any kind of interaction with your personal like kind of space or side of yourself okay so we've got the four of cups uh that's way too many um okay i'm sorry i'm gonna have to do that again let's just shuffle again so already I think that's what it is. Even the fact that they're hesitant about the about um, search, um, about understanding you or trusting you and trusting what you're saying is triggering something in them that are, that they may feel that they've been avoiding. Um, I don't know if they're aware of it. Um, I don't think so. Um, but let's see. And it's really interesting how we have a crescent moon. We have two crescent moons here. So something. It's either beginning or ending. Um, it feels like I do, I do have faith. I do feel like they, they know that they're being a little bit ignorant about something. Um, but let's have a look. Okay. So we've got the nine of cups. We've got the father of wands. This may be somebody who fancies you. 
because I feel like they very much are driven in what they do. So they wouldn't even bother doing something like watching you secretly online if it wasn't in their best interest to do so, if it wasn't a productive, you know, this ain't no knight of wands. This is a, this is a king of wands. This is the father of wands. Um, the nine of cups being reversed tells me that they've, you're reminding them of, of something that reminds them of their time of when they were unhappy, but not in, not in a bad way. It's more, it's more, it's helping them realize why that they were unhappy. So there may be truths that you're saying, like you may be posting pictures of quotes and stuff like that, certain things, and they're getting triggered by that because it's like, oh my God, that's exactly what I was thinking. And I know that I should be doing that, or I know I should be doing this. And it's reminding me of kind of my own in inconsistencies and what I've been ignoring. That's what this feels like. Four of Wands. Yeah, they really, they really like your, you know, there's something very good about your approach to their values. And they really appreciate that. They really feel that you understand them, which is probably why they're really skeptical about your stuff. Okay, the chariot reversed. Yeah, they want to reach out to you. And then the, the five of cups. Now, I mean, this could be anybody. I don't, I, don't, I don't see anybody specific, but I will find out who a little bit more about this in a minute. Um, but they kind of feel that you remind them of the disappointment in themselves. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? But what I mean by that is like, it, you force them to face their shadow. Um, and I don't know, that might be in your success or it might be, yeah, I think it's more in your success because you remind them of the good things in life. They really do want to reach out and talk to you. It could be someone that you know. We've got so many cups here. It could be someone that you know. It could be a friend. I feel like it's one of those Facebook friends that you make and then you just forget about kind of thing. It could be that. Or like, you you know, um, you've met them like a long time ago and then they, you know, they're just kind of like, they're kind of still connected to you in some way or they, they're still watching you, you know, kind of thing. Okay, let's have a look. So how does my group one know this person? Nine of swords. Okay, you're on this person's mind quite a bit. Um, and the four of pentacles. Wow. Wow. Okay, you, you literally mirror a block to them. Six of Pentacles, yeah, you literally mirror some kind of block to them. You show them how their own sense of hierarchy within their life um, kind of causes them to have everything that they want materially, but in terms of emotionally, it's very like they're trapped in a way, almost, you know, with these two cards. Um, how do you know them? You might have met them at a time when they weren't that stable. Um, they might not have had much direction in their life. I, I do think this could be from a couple of years ago. Um, ranging from about two to six years ago, possibly. Now to... to six years ago, but the numbers we've got here is two, four, and six. But you are on their mind. Don't know, maybe you had a conversation with them like all that time ago and yeah, it, it just has reverberated. And maybe certain things have come into play. There could have been um, some kind of romantic interest. There could have been. And there is a little bit of like, not the right time, not the right space. Like, yeah. 
Um, interesting how we have like the chariot reversed and that, which, you know, two horses. So there's very much this energy of wanting to like really go forward and run with it. But then there's this suppression and like, no, I'm not going to do that because I've got other things to deal with. That's so interesting. Okay, so then we've got the six of wands. So I think that this person feels like they've succeeded um, to some certain extent in life. Um, and again, you kind of remind them of this. So it might be somebody that's uh, kind of done well on some kind of level. Um, but you may know that I think like when you connected with this person, I think that you know that they didn't have that sense of depth, which actually you know, kind of compares to real happiness. There's something about ego here. So it's about what I have, how much money I have, maybe, you know, that I've done really well in my business. That, and I feel that here. I feel like there has been um, something about business, like stability that has been created within business, but it's due to oppression and a bit of like trying to like get away from instability. And I mean, obviously, you know, we build up foundations to build up stability. But the main thing is, is that, how do we do that? Do we build it from a really concrete base or do we build it from a base where we're just like, oh, and it's more reactionary, do you know what I mean? So let's have a look at, okay, death. Um, I really do feel like they're transforming um, into something, hmm. I feel like they're definitely transforming into something really major by watching you online. I don't know, but you if you are putting stuff out regularly online, they are definitely being triggered by it. Or it is helping some kind of ascension that's going on. Um, it might be somebody you've worked with. It might be. Because I don't really see many cups here. We saw cups before. But that was more to do about like, you know, the reason why they're watching your things or why they're like looking at you online. Here is more about the connection and because there's so many pentacles, I feel like they've known you in a in a non-emotional context. They've known you in a sense that of where they may have been trying to impress you. Do you know who this is? Do you know who this is? Do you know who this is? I don't even feel like I need to draw any cards. Um, yeah, I think you might do. You might know who they are, but I think you know them from afar. I don't think you know them intimately. Like, I don't think that they're a friend. Um, they would have loved to have become a friend. I think... There was an opportunity for you to have become friends maybe at the time that you met. But then because now so much time has passed, it, the, the kind of maybe the boat has sailed. I don't know. Maybe they think that. But they've got on with their own lives and then they've realized, wow, there are some things that Pile One really said to me that, that kind of resonate with me throughout what I do. I'm sure you've had those people that have said to you, God, yeah, I remember that conversation we had all that time ago and that, how that reverberates through history. You know, it's just kind of really interesting. So I think I think there's definitely like some massive impact that you've had. Um Yeah. That's really cool. So I mean what are you going to do about it? Like what 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 does it mean for you to do about it? I mean I don't think you're really going to say anything about it. I think it's just good for you to know about it to be honest with you. Um Because I think you just need to just keep on doing what you're doing because I think for a reason you th you're posting these things or you're, you're doing these things online or you're creating this presence online for this person to see or for others to see, whoever it is to see. And I think um, this is the kind of reaction I think in a way that you want. You know, you want people to be triggered by this. You want people to be in a good way, right? Triggers don't just happen as a negative kind of concept. Um, no, I don't want to do this part. I don't want to do that deck yet. And yet I will do this deck first. So I'm just going to have a look at like kind of like what characteristics and attributes like kind of get triggered by them um, and with you just some, something to kind of overlay on top of the situation that will help us gain some more light into it. Wow. Flying high with the spirit. It is reversed. I am going to take it reversed. Now what I get from this at being reversed is that you, you may be spiritual, par one, and they are inspired by your connection to spirituality. And because of that, you know, you've made them consider some things. 
I really do feel that they don't believe, they didn't realize how impactful that your meeting maybe you, you had on that initial meeting. Now, it could have been something like, if it's not that you haven't met in person, I do think you have met in person because we've got so many pentacles, but like, or oh, this like two, six, four, two, four, six, do you know what I mean? It, but if you didn't meet on person, it was something that you did online that impacted them, you know, a post that you made. And it might have been like an actual written post, not not a like a quote that you share or something like that, you know? So you are connecting them to spirit. Your I think your sense of spirituality is inspiring them and helping them to like I think in a way they probably thought that you know they got it all together because they had the material components in place but now they're realizing that life is a lot more to um, there is a lot more to life than just being um than just being uh, uh materially wealthy or um mentally wealthy you know they may have even i mean i don't see many swords here i see one sword um which is the do, is there any other swords no i don't think there is any no, that's cups, cups, wands, wands, chariot, and cups. Yeah, so it's only really, I think you're you're helping them to, to question themselves emotionally. I think that's what's happening here. Wow, this is juicy AF, man. Love it. <laughs> I'm such a Gemini. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Wow, home is where your heart is. Where is your heart? This is the thing. You're making them question like where their heart is. You're making them question where their heart is. Where is their true heart in? in is it in the business that they are like so passionate about apparently and that they're making their, their dollars and whatnot and they're creating their kind of things from? Or are you, you're really challenging this person. It's great, I love it. I think it's really good. Because it means that, you know, they're, they're starting to understand the whole, the holistic kind of principles of life as opposed to like just the, you know, just the material, like the, the first three chakra, chakra life, you know, which is just about money, material possessions, wealth, what am I going to do in this life? And I know that, you know, the majority of my readers won't be into that, you know, they'll be into something that's so much more kind of... Uh, <sighs> broad so much more expansive okay so this last um deck that i'm going to use to close out the reading is kind of like what something said to me about the chakras that are actually being um activated during this time um in a way kind of closing out the reading for you to think about so you came to this reading what's the what's the use of you knowing this information and also you know what's the lesson for them so we we kind of are already seeing what's the lesson for them but you know i think there's something obviously about you you know this is what this reading is about what's so important about you knowing that this person is watching you um so yeah okay so we've got organized discipline and this can work both ways by the way i just wanted to say something else about um how you know them i do think it's somebody that you know within a work capacity um yeah i think it's someone that you knew within a work capacity and as i said like it could be it could be like years a timeline so i think it's over the since the last six years i think i think okay um freedom spirituality see i told you look 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 look, look. spirituality freedom uranus yes 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 <laughs> and oh no i only want one thank you communication exploring dreams ah okay your dreams might also give you ideas about this like if you um have had some kind of like dreams about some random people recently where you're just like oh my god i had this dream about this random person that i met like six years ago you know like that might be something as well this might be a key to knowing who it is but I think then that would mean for me that would mean that I would need to explore my dreams more to find out more about that that means I need more kind of uh, work or exploration with my dream work um if you do do dream work 
um, and being able to communicate with your, you know, your your kind of realms or uh, accessing those realms for deeper information. That would also work really well with the spirituality and the freedom because that would also mean for you to kind of, uh, you know, explore that sense of freedom um, that you can have within your spirituality, that it isn't just confined to one thing and that you're able to like move forward and move I even move forward I'm feeling like I just see like this ink block kind of like spreading out so that you can just explore all av avenues and really um once you do that then you then you affect more people in the way that you want to because I've, I've got a feeling part one you're a bit like you want to get out there do you know what I mean um also Saturn disciplined organized there's something that you can you can learn from this person and it's interesting how it's just touching these two cards here we do have a slight kind of touch here but it's touching these two so here I'm I'm getting full-on stability um I mean traditionally these cards are usually quite blocked but here like I'm feeling that we've got two beautiful figures this deck is amazing two beautiful figures and also it's Capricorn and Taurus you know, stability, keeping things organized, keeping things beautiful, keeping things kind of uh, stable in a way, particularly when you're doing Neptune, when Neptune and Uranus are involved, you need Saturn, you need that, you need that. But what's really interesting is what I was saying about, you know, the first three chakras that were being kind of uh, aligned, accessed, whatever you want to call it, and they were actually being... Um, kind of represented by this person that is very much something that they're adept at so this might be something that you can like put into context if you you know find out who it is or if you start to understand who it is and um, you're like oh yeah that person wow they did this da, 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 you know kind of thing um, and it might be like oh, okay you know I might have something to learn from that maybe yeah, I don't really see, I mean, you could communicate with them. I don't really see that. There's not a lot of swords. There's a lot of, um, there's just one sword and it's the nine. So I think this is more to do with like areas of darkness that are alleviated by watching you. So I think that's what's happening. Part one, what beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed that. That was awesome. I really enjoyed it. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, my darlings, have a beautiful morning, evening, night, day, whenever you're choosing to watch this. And remember that honesty is always key. Bye. Okay, hello, Paul two, and welcome to your reading. So you chose this beautiful Ulex stone, Ulexite stone. Um, it's known as the TV stone. So I don't know if you can see this, but can you see it kind of like you can actually see this stone, like it literally magnifies or even you can see very clearly. Whereas like, for example, if we were going to look at the quartz, like a quartz would be kind of, you can see it kind of, yeah, right. And even with like, if we actually had a piece of quartz, I don't know if you would really be able to see it through that. But with this, with Ulexite, it kind of does this weird thing where you can just see it totally clearly. Um, so, um, someone wants to see you as you are. Um, they want to make sure that they are getting the right kind of message and also they want to make sure that they are seeing you in the most kind of I would go as far to say as the most biased clearest light so it's not just the bad or the good um like for example there was in part one there was a magnification of um of the self of 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 stuff of the things that were there it wanted to be magnified so if they saw you in a good light they wanted to see more of that um if they saw you in a negative light they wanted to see more of that but then they actually led to seeing you in a more balanced light and here it's like they are viewing you in a balanced light um and they're wanting to see you as clear as possible um yeah, they want to, to see you as clearly as possible. That's what I'm getting from this stone. Wow. So jealousy leads to downfall and it's reversed. So what I get from this is that they understand that your um, talents that they see you online for 
or whatever it is that they see you online for, they can understand how people can become jealous of that and they want to, they want to, they want to really like stop, they, they, they're like, why do people want to be jealous of my pile twos? Like, why? Like, let's just see what they're really about because there's not really anything to be jealous about even though I really enjoy their content or I really enjoy their posts or whatever that they put up. There's no need to be jealous. Um, they may have been jealous in the past. And then what's happened is then the more that they've started to view you, they've realized that there's nothing to be jealous about. And I really do think I get a really good feeling that they admire you, pile um, two. It's very positive so far, the outcomes. Um, for the observations i'm getting very positive outlooks from the people that matter or the people that i'm tapping into from this reading the messages in terms of what you need to know about this person who's following you online secretly i'm going to take another one because pile one got two okay right so we've got mid heaven and we've got sagittarius okay right so i don't know some of you may be quite brash outspoken loud um but then I think that's that's what people think that you are. Like they think that you're being... Um, so the negative kind of Sagittarius would be somebody who is brash. All those things I said, but viewed in a negative context as opposed to a positive context. So people who don't really um, have any kind of tact. Um, people who don't really um, think about other people's feelings. Um, in the respect of, um, they are very much service driven, I find. Most Sagittariuses are service driven, but they kind of, they do come in like a fireball and they're just like, oh, did people get hurt while I was coming in? Oh, never mind. It's all right. They'll heal kind of thing. Um, it's really interesting because as I mentioned that, cause like in terms of career and I've got someone in my head because I just recently got told that somebody that I know who is a Sagittarius became a fireman. And I thought that's just the best like thing for this person because, and it's really interesting because this person had like a lot of issues, particularly with uh, addictive substances. So they had like a bit of a lack of direction in life, but they had exceptional um, physical strength and they had um, really, really amazing brain power. So, you know, to go into something like a, um, and that's very Sagittarian. They've got a lot of energy. They have a lot of energy. And I feel that if that energy is misguided, then it tends to be, it tends to go in a bit of a, a wry direction. It doesn't, it goes awry. It's not directed in a good way. So I think that people, um, and I think that maybe these people, like I, I think there's two groups of people. I think there's one group of people that are jealous of you Um and then there's one group of people that are aware that, of the people that are jealous of you or could be jealous of you um, and could be also aware of the fact that they that these negative kind of perspectives or negative things that maybe you kind of display, um, they're actually positives. It's, it's weird. It's like, you know, some people view being um, upfront as being very very good some say it's tactless um i personally think that um you know you do you you do whatever you're doing um there are some people that i really like that are really brash and intense but they actually push me towards being a better version of myself. I don't know if that's because my Mars is in Virgo, so I'm pretty like intense. And also I have Capricorn moon. So I'm very intense with how I kind of view things. And also, particularly with emotions, um, I try to control them, which isn't that healthy. But anyway, um, <laughs> like, you know, like, or I try to do my best to manage them, you know. Um, and here what I'm seeing is that getting... What, how you are in terms of being upfront and um, brash um, actually is really beneficial for you, exceptionally beneficial for you. So the people that are viewing you can see this side of people that don't like that. They they're like they can see that the brashness 
is can be a double-edged sword in a way. Um, it can there can be positive and negatives with it. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look more about who is viewing my pile one and um, my pile two. Now, this is really interesting because this is kind of the opposite of what I was saying. Patience, I accept that everything is in divine order. Um, I don't usually resonate with pile two, but I'm resonating with this pile. Interesting. So I think, and I love this patterning. <coughs> Excuse me. It reminds me a little bit of um, like Scottish play. Bear with me. I just need to get a drink because I'm very, my throat's just dried up all of a sudden. Sorry, my love, something happened there. Like, my throat's been quite dry. So maybe this person is having, um, can't really communicate to you what they want to say. Um, and they need to wait until the right kind of time in order to communicate with it, communicate to you um, about it. They may even, like, want to comment on your stuff, and they don't. They're waiting for the right time. Um, I feel like they see you going far. They definitely see you going far. Um, very good vibes from this. Very good. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to crack on with the tarot. Because this is really interesting. Do you know this person? Hmm. Let's find out. I think you've also got to exercise patience in knowing that these people are around you. And um, there may be a sense that you don't believe that there are these people around you. So it might be useful to believe that there are. <laughs> um, have faith. They do exist. They just keep in the shadows a bit. Okay, so we've got the Five of Swords, which is um, kind of defeatist kind of vibes. <sighs> I always feel like that. Five of Swords is a little bit... Ah, okay, right. I just realised. That Five of Swords reminds me often like um, a Seven of Swords. Because of the way it is. Um, it, it, in a way, it sometimes means that things are not really what they seem. Um, there is a lot of signs there to show me that. So, for example, we've got an arrow pointing one way. Um, we've got another arrow and then it's pointing the other way. We've got this kind of demon-like character which has got a mask on and a little crown. They're walking on snakes and they're sneaking away like the Rider Waite Seven of Swords. Which kind of makes me think, okay, this is really interesting. So, what I get from that is that this person could know people that, that um, put you down. They could know people that watch you. And um, they could be like, right, we know people that, that don't, don't really like this person's work or what they're doing online. Yeah, I'll take them. Um, we've got the two of cups. For, oh, sugar. Okay. Five of cups. Death. So, yes, this could be someone that you knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be someone that you knew. Um, I mean, in another context, you could also say that it was someone that did know you, but um, has realised that they can only get so far with you in that respect. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, that, that kind of... That's why I came to that conclusion because they, they, it almost seems like they tried to work on this connection and it didn't work out. Two of Cups reversed. Um, and we've got two Venus signs here. Um, so I just think that whatever happened, it just didn't work out. But what's really interesting is whenever the Five of Cups appears, I always see that as the Two of Cups. So what I'm thinking is that you might have ended up having, like you might have ended up falling out with someone who was jealous of you. They're watching you secretly online. And then they're also friends with other people who are also watching you online. Now, the people who are jealous of you or the people who you fell out with, they don't really, they may have this jealous kind of attitude and also think that you're quite brash and you, um, you don't really, like, you don't really have the tact um, of all this kind of thing that you're doing online. And then the um, other side, you've got people, because there's the Two of Cups, this says to me, and then Three of Swords reversed with death. I think what happened is that you've actually gained some other types of friends in the process. So this is really interesting.
And you thought it was going to be more painful. And I mean, I mean, you could have had some pain about it. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it, it not it isn't as nearly as painful. In fact, um, yeah, I think this it's really interesting because we've got three swords here. We don't have any wands, so I don't know if it's like anything to do with ego. We can we can check that out. But that three of swords is pain. There was pain. There was emotional kind of tie up. So, okay. It could be like a business person that you were involved with. And then they started to like have questions about like the way that you did things. Even though that, you know, maybe they liked it initially. And then something happened and then you ended up like having to like end the relationship or something. Or you ended up having to stop talking to them. And then now that they're, now they, you don't talk to them. So then they stalk you now online. And they may also be conversing with other people. Um, and then what happens is then you, uh, these people who you're conversing with, they are realizing that um, the other persons that they're, they're conversing with are realizing that actually this person is actually quite jealous and may even be being a bit harsh towards you. So they're actually realizing their own journey about it. So as I said, I think you've got two packs of people that are watching you or two, definitely two people that are watching you with these intentions. But essentially you went out because, you know, you've, you've gotten over the hurt. Um, you know, you may have ended one relationship, but it looks like to me out of the bullshit, you've ended up you know, getting another relationship. So, um, which you might not be able to see. I don't think you see it. But it's very much in the forefront because this is almost like the sorrow and the drama, but then you've got the, these beautiful cups that are overfloweth here. So, and then you've got this death here. So... I think there's definitely some beautiful stuff that's happening here. You've got, you know, like we always talk about the whole divine support stuff. This is real support from people that you don't see. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's get some clarification on these cards. So four of Wands upright, clarifying the Five of Swords. Um, <clears throat> the Hierophant, see, I told you, this is like... These people are learning something about what the other person is doing. Um, or what the other, you know, what, what your react... How this other group of people or people or persons are reacting to you. It's almost like actions speak so much louder than words like reactions to things so but for example like when someone's trying to hide that they like someone and they're like they're they're over the top rather than like saying oh i just yeah no don't really no nah, i've never really been into that person and they're like no you know they really kind of they vehemently um deny that they're that they like this person it kind of makes you think oh my god okay because we've got strong, strong, we've got strong uh, cards here. Hierophant, Father of Wands. This is massive learning experiences and intention of direction. This is not like, oh yeah, I'm just, you know, this is like determination. I think what's happened, and because it's they're both like quite male cards, Taurus, and then we've got like Father of Wands. So you've got like the, the fixed, fixed uh, fire, Leo. It's kind of... Your determination has made you a force to be reckoned with online, on a digital platform. I love it. Fucking love it. That's why you're not Sagittarius, you're reverse, you're Leo. Love it. And Four of Wands, I think like you, you understood your sense of integrity, like going there, and that's really 
It's something that they aspire to. I'm not going to lie, Pile 2. They really aspire to it. This is such a gorgeous reading. Such a good reading. Like, I get such good energy from it. It's like we had to fight for this. Um, yeah, you had to fight for it. You had to know what it was that you fought for and what it is that you didn't. Yeah. Or what, what it is that you don't need to. Three of Wands. Look at that. Look at that. I've actually got tears in my eyes. It's quite in intense. Like it's um it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. You moved on. You moved away from the BS and you just moved into a space where it just embodied your power. And you were like, right, this is where I'm going. Everything can just fuck off. I mean, and in terms of being online, and this is what people are admiring, this is who's watching you and seeing, wow, Son of Pentacles, page of, okay, I think, I think this death here with the Son of Pentacles is that you are not going to stand for anybody who is, who's, who's flaky, you're not gonna, you're not really, like, this is not, you're, you're really speaking your truth, and it's so, it's so uh, poignant in terms of the timing because right now we've got this Scorpio full moon. We've got Uranus and Jupiter conjunction, or I can't remember if it's a conjunction, but there's some kind of massive thing that's going on now and it's very powerful. So there's a lot of determination energy that's going on and that's mirrored by the fire. The fire signs are the, are the determined ones, like, you know, um, they're the ones that drive. And then the earth are fixed, like they don't change their mind. So like, you know, they're kind of like the earth signs are quite, it's difficult to, to kind of do that with the earth signs. Um, okay. Wow, look at that, the three of swords clarified by the three of swords rever both reversed. I love that so much. You really have turned your sorrow into gold. And they see that, they see that. For some of you, it could be someone that you were with before that broke your heart. Um, and then uh, they're seeing how much you've turned around the situation. And they're absolutely bowled over by it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at some animal energy for you. Oh, such a great reading. Like karma, I, it's weird. Like it's not karma, but I do get karma vibes from this. I do get like someone who, in a way, like didn't do you very good. Basically, talk shit about you, and then it's like, oh, here's the downfall. And I think that this this stuff that they talked about you was unnecessary. Like they didn't need to do that. They didn't need to act like that. It says here jealousy leads to downfall. And I think that's what happened with these people. And I think, I think that the people that are watching you have seen this happen. Or the people who are watching you are very aware that if they are jealous, that it will mess them up, you know? And what's really interesting with that patience card, which is now coming into focus a bit better, is now that, sorry, the cards just jumped all over the place. So sorry if the volume is a little bit low. But, um, like, you, it's almost like you had to bite your tongue with this situation, you know? Okay, so we've got zebra, we've got two here, so I'm going to take them. So we've got zebra, independent thought. And then we've got spider, endless opportunities. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Love that. I, I really, yeah, these, this is something that these people really admire about you. They admire it about you so much. They think they really aspire to you. Wish they could be like that. Um, they actually seen the benefits of being like that through your example. And even if you're not doing anything online, I think also it might even be a lack of your presence as well. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like it could be that you don't even... Um, but you, you're not, you're not being, 
you're not even uh, posting online. You may have used to post online quite often or whatever. And even the absence of your posts, it's almost like your your actions, whatever it is, is something that they really are aspiring to. And it's actually bringing in more. In a way, you may be doing less and it's bringing in more. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I'm not taking those, sorry. I can't have so many. Can I just have one? And look, it's all messing up my cards. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause the video, sorry. Okay, let's have another look. Okay, you got two, I'll give you two. Gratitude, be grateful for what you received today and weed out. Um, get rid of the things that are not wanted, make room for something new. I think they kind of speak for themselves. I don't really feel like I need to say anything. Gratitude, be grateful for what you received today. Present moment awareness. Get rid of the things that are not wanted and make room for something new. What's really interesting, oh my God, look at this. The little shit, right? Okay, look at that. Look at that face on that dandelion. Like dandelions are we usually really beautiful plants, but they are kind of considered weeds. Look at the face on that thing. It's like, ha ha ha, I ruined your stuff. I'm trying to mess up your game. And you're like, nah, out you go. So I think that whoever was jealous of you really wanted to mess you up. They wanted to make sure that they had something on you. I'm glad they're out. Okay, yeah, good. I wanted a few. Okay, so, so to close out the reading, I've got love in the heart chakra and Uranus individually, individuality, reconnect. So what I'm getting with this is two things. The heart chakra is about connection on an expansive level. Um, it's, it's meaning that you're, you're kind of, you know, connecting into this sense of universal love as opposed to just individual love or platonic or romantic love with, with an individual or with a group of people. This is about a collective. So this is about you being able to spread this sense of yourself on a collective level. Um, you also invoke this in others as well, which is why I'm pulling these cards. So it's almost like you're invoking these senses within the, within the collective. Uh, power, nurturing, moon, emotions. So following your own sense of self, in your, in your sense of power, but also being true to who you are, honoring your emotions and nurturing them are the things that are really going to like embody a sense of power within you. They're going to be something that really helps you to connect deeply. I think this is what you're invoking. These are what these cards are. It's like these are the values that you are connecting to your audience with or with you, with the people that are watching you online. Um, and it kind of gives you an idea of why they're like uh, watching you or wanting to watch you or wanting to know what's going on with you, you know. Um, and then look at that. I love this. So you've got root, middle and heart. Root, center and heart. So we've got survival, Uranus again, authenticity. Uranus is very powerful for you right now. I think it is Jupiter and Uranus that's having its that's having its party recently. Um, let's just have a look. So the Jupiter Uranus conjunction happened about two days ago. Um, today is the twenty second when I'm filming this of April. So um, and this reading is timeless. That doesn't really make any difference. What's more important is about the the fact of what that time of when I'm doing this reading connects with you because that will make more relevance and sense to you. Um, also, you know, these are the times when these things kind of like click into place. So it's almost that when you really come from a rooted sense of being authentic in who you are, that's when it connects to a higher sense of love with everyone else. And that seems to be what's happening. So pile two, I hope you enjoyed that reading. That was really cool, really beautiful, positive reading. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please do like, subscribe and all that good stuff. If you like and comment, um, 
like the algorithm helps others to find this video so please do do like this video if you did like it um and otherwise um have a beautiful morning evening night whenever you're choosing to watch this and remember that honesty is always key bye pile three hello and welcome to your reading so really interesting about your reading i just literally remembered something that i had to do so i had to pause the reading and go and do something um, but then I ended up getting sidetracked <laughs> on a whole heap of stuff. Um, so I think that this person who is watching you right now kind of looks at you and which is really interesting with optical calcite. You're kind of like their guiding light, their North Star, but you are also a distraction. You're a distraction. They like looking at you. Um, there could even be some kind of energy where I wouldn't go as far as like, I mean, essentials, they just like looking at you. Um, they may even do that in real life. So that's really interesting. Oh, wow. And we still got the Ulex eye here. Now, I try and put this away whenever this stone is here, because this is the stone that gets amplified when it's there. Um, and then we use it for the reading. But Ulex eye is about seeing things clearly and seeing things as they are as opposed to seeing things, you know, re yeah, seeing things as they are, with their good and their bad, you know? There's no kind of judgment there. But with this optical calcite, it's almost like that they're looking, yeah, they're looking at you, they want to, they want to, they really aspire to you in a way. Um, Aspire to you, what else? Yeah, they... <laughs> They like to see what you're up to. Like you'll cross their mind and then they'll just be like, oh, what's going on with this person? So let's have a look. Air, a seek, seek a union of mind and spirit. And then we've got it reversed. When it is reversed, it goes into water. So, um, so what I'm thinking is that that thoughts, so yeah, they think to do that and they have an emotional response from you. Um, it's thoughts of you that trigger an emotional response in, you, in them. And what happens is then they end up getting a little bit like, I would say that they might, you know, <laughs> there might be some reasons why they're watching you. I don't know. It could be a little bit, um, I don't know whether I'd go as far as romantic. I think it's more kind of lustful in a way wistful that's the word i'm looking for wistful like oh what is this person like i wish i could know them a bit better it'd be really cool to know what they're like and you know they look so cool and it could be this kind of like imagining about you and stuff there's a little bit of this dreamy quality dreamy energy i was totally distracted between reading two and three so yeah um give it they were important things I needed to be distracted by but I it's weird because I just thought oh yeah let, let, once I did my things I thought okay let me have a cup of tea and then get on with pile three's reading and then all of a sudden I'm just looking at stuff and I'm just like oh gosh okay right I need to get to it I need to do some work here um so it's like a kind of um maybe a a welcome distraction from what they have going on in their life um that gives them some kind of, you know, uh, kind of, it's a bit like a drug, you know? That's what I'm getting. Cardinal is reversed. That means that I, I feel like it stops them doing things that they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Um, feminine. Yes, and as I said, it's water energy, but it's air because it isn't tangible, it isn't realistic. So there's still something to do with the communication. We're talking about like, you know, working on the on the plane where we're, you know, social media, that kind of thing, or like uh, online or online posting or whatever, or the absence of. So there's something that kind of, I don't know, not, um, I wouldn't say it's a restriction, but I feel like there's a bit of an avoidance here, if I'm honest. So they might be looking at you. These people might be looking at you um, to see if they can uh, avoid something. Oh, 
Okay, let's have a look at... Okay, you got two. Okay, we'll take them. Forgiveness and blame. Okay, wow, God. Can't get more, like, opposite of the spectrum, can you? Forgiveness, blame. Um. So, it's guilty pleasures. Forgiveness, I acknowledge that harbouring resentment blocks the flow of love. Blame, I accept responsibility for my well-being. This person is in a process of doing that and watching your content helps them to do that. Watching, watching who you are, watching what you're doing helps them to do that. Helps them to recognise this place within themselves. It also helps them to forgive themselves a little bit better. They may have an issue with blame. They may have an issue with blaming people about their things, about what's going on in their lives. Um, yeah. And listening to you, watching you, um, helps them to be a little bit more compassionate in a way. noticed I'm not really saying much in between I'm just doing so there could be something in that as well I'm not I'm not telling you oh I'm gonna go into the tarot I'm just telling I'm just doing it so this person believes actions speak louder than words um I'm feeling quite determined as well so yeah something here and it only wants five the others had six um okay so you've got the page of cups Six of Pentacles reversed, two of Pentacles um, upright, um, seven of Cups, okay, and the nine of Wands. You bring a welcome kind of, uh, you, you bring them a welcome balance into their life, which um, they're not receiving. Uh, it's almost like, you know, there was a really interesting thing that I saw about computer games. And I don't know if you know, but computer games um, and the gaming industry is worth more than the music uh, than the music and the film industry put together, which I think is phenomenal. But it just kind of shows the way of our times. And um, in the respect of like gaming, um, I heard somebody talking who designs computer games say about how you know it's very important like when people come home and they play like these games like for example like dark souls or like uh, god of war or something like that now for those of you who don't play games these are quite dark mythological games they've got some really dark mythology surrounding them elden ring blah 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 um they've got some intense stuff um that is associated with the story in intense complex storylines very lord of the rings slash kind of uh you know chosen one vibes I don't know I don't play them so forgive me um I don't play those um but the thing is is that what this game games producer was saying was that people get involved in those games so that they don't go and perform those things so for example if they're like smashing someone or like playing call of duty or something like that which is a shooting game like an army shooting game if they do that online and they do that with the community that they're with at home then this gives them kind of outlet to kind of express those emotions that they may have in their day to day. And I think that that's what's going on here. I feel like they're not able to really like find that kind of passion and love within their kind of day to day life, particularly within their work, because we've got these pentacles and also the seven of cups. So you invoke almost like a dream state for them. Um, you, help the, you help them through the kind of like burden of life. Um, and they really do feel that they are, you know, in a way, um, they are to blame for the way that their life is. So you give them hope. You give them dreams. You give them balance. Um, you give them access to a world that they may not have access to. Wow. Poor things. I feel like, wow, that's beautiful, pile three. Get some clarification on these. Yeah, judgment. Okay, judgment was just at the bottom. I just wanted to have a look at the bottom card. Okay, page of cups, page of cups, page of cups reversed. The mother of cups, wow. Yeah, you definitely are something very um, inspirational to these people. 
they really get some kind of like strong emotional stability from you. Um, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if these people were very private because that's how I feel. Even though I was distracted, I felt very, um, not restricted, but I felt like I wanted to just say what was necessary. Even my energy is different right now compared to like the other two. The first one was like really like high energy. The second one was really hopeful and really full of like emotional energy. This one is kind of like, it's almost peaceful, you know? Okay, so the world is clarifying, the world reverse is clarifying the Six of Pentacles. Um, I think what they understand is that um, like uh, maintaining this balance within their within their day-to-day -day life has to be a consistent process. It's something that doesn't really end. And I think what happens is because they, I don't know, I, I, would, have, I would even go as far that they've got like a kind of similar concept to the Buddhist principle of like that everything is suffering. And I don't know, I feel like they've taken it a bit too far. So what they've done is they've kind of like really gone into this kind of cycle of blame and forgiveness, blame and forgiveness. Like it's like, oh, this is like really annoying. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I understand it. And kind of them watching you or seeing you or knowing you online helps them to remember about that kind of that cycle. Uh, two of Pentacles is temperance. Wonderful. Um, they really do see some kind of balance within themselves. Um, it's peace. They really learn it from you, I think. There's something that you did. Do you know this person? Do you know them? Do you know them? Do you know them? I don't think so. Don't think you know these people. Pile three. I don't think you know them. This is from afar. This doesn't feel close. Son of Swords reverse. No, it's not. It's not at all. Um, I would go as far to say that they have a little bit of a uh, kind of idealistic vision of you. They don't really know who you are. They don't really know anything about you, but they enjoy what they see about you. And that's probably why only five cards wanted to come out as well. Um, wow, the lovers. Okay. I mean, we have got intense balancing things here. They may have a crush on you, part three. They may have a crush on you. They may like want to, you know, really believe that you are something that is very special to them. It could also be the other way around. It could be that you do know them. It could even be a partner. Like you've got two ends of the scale here. You've got someone that doesn't know you at all. And you've got someone who knows you intimately, but doesn't tell you about how they look at you online. Now that's interesting. Um, so those are the two scenarios I'm seeing, um, but they definitely are quiet about it. Like they don't say anything. No, they don't say anything. Ace of Swords. They don't communicate it to you at all. They wouldn't want you to know in the slightest. For some of you, it could be an ex that you still get on with, but you don't communicate with. It could be an old friend that you don't communicate with. Um, it could be that you didn't work together or like it wasn't good to the relationship and how it worked together. Um, but actually, they really like you. They really like you. This has all been very positive. I was expecting some right, like, nasty stuff to come out, but it hasn't. It's been beautiful. So I'm so glad that the universe has decided to, to give me that rather than the harsh truths that it usually does. Um, wow, and Swan just got Swan there as well. So there's, I think they really love you, Pile Three. They actually, they actually have some emotional tie to you, Rhino, sol solitude and ambition. Yeah, they're getting on and doing their thing. They don't really like. They don't really communicate with you. They don't really like. You don't really know anything about them, but they do love you from afar. Absolutely, they're a big fan of your stuff. They're a big fan of you. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And they think you're a rare breed. They think you're a rare case. They think that, um, they don't think that everyone can really understand you, but they understand you. And to be honest, that's all that matters. <laughs> they don't care about anyone else. 
Um, we've got here knowledge, gain new information um, through study um, and learn. It was reversed. I do kind of want to take it reversed, but I'm not going to. Oh God, what is that? What is that? Let me see if she, oh no, she doesn't have a book for this, does she? I don't know. Let me just double check. Okay, so she doesn't have a guidebook. I didn't buy it. You have to buy it. Um, and I didn't buy it. Um, so <laughs> it's because a friend of mine brought these from the States for me. So like I didn't want her to like have to travel with loads of stuff. Um, but I don't know what that symbol is. Interesting. Um, anyway, four nitrogen. Oxygen. Let me see if I can find it out. That's bugging me. I don't know, my friends, I tried, I tried. My chemistry is not my strong point. Um, so, because it would have been really interesting to find out what that chemical is, but it is reversed. So yeah, I don't think they know anything about you. I, and also because I wasn't able to, to find out about what it was as well. I don't think that they, they or maybe they tried to find out stuff about you and they haven't. And maybe you've tried to find out stuff about them and they haven't. This is a very, like, you don't know anything about these people, but they love you. They love you. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little look at the the um, chakra points that are highlighted through this kind of, like, why, you know, what, what what's the use of knowing about them um, and what they bring kind of to the table? Okay, so we've got creativity, emotional balance, Mars, energy. We've got number five, communication, Mars, again. So we've got two Mars. There is a very strong sexual energy here, I'm not going to lie. Like, driven energy, sexual energy. Um, but it's great. I mean, I'm biased because I love Mars. But anyway, um, okay, so we've got Uranus, Mars, and Mars. Um, we've got the sacral chakra, the root chakra, and the throat, throat chakra, which is why I kind of like had a lot on the sexuality, really. Um, so I think what this is supposed to tell you, because of what's reflected with them, because you kind of give them that sense of hope within life, being able to kind of go forward with life, being able to do things like what I mentioned before, you know, even though there's so much kind of going on in the world and we kind of tend to lose track we may lose hope in what's going on how we're going to go forward how we're going to do things when there's so much kind of pain in the world it kind of helps us to to re to remember that we can only deal with what we can at the moment um emotional balance allows us to kind of remain strong within our sense of creativity so that even you know even though times are really sad or that, that there is a lot a lot going on that being creative is going to be something that's really helpful for us um, and it also helps us to um, balance ourselves emotionally, not just, you know, expression of art, but it's more to do with, you know, how we believe we can love or how we can believe we can endure a situation. And we've also got survival, authenticity. You, you just have to be true to that sense of self. I think th th these three within all of the readings have been like a mirror of, you know, what you get from them and what they get from you, you know, and how this kind of uh, coagulates into this thing. So I think it's really important to remember that sense of authenticity and the, the, as long as you're keeping authentic to yourself when you're putting yourself out there or, um, you know, and it, this could be on LinkedIn, it could be on any platform. It's just how you're viewed online. Um, yeah, it's, it's generally really, really, it, actually, it's not generally, it's very much positive. There's a very positive energy about this and they find you very inspiring. Pile 3, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, my darlings, thank you so much for bearing with me and listening to this wonderful reading. It's been an honour to read for you. Um, have a beautiful morning, evening, night, whenever you're choosing to watch this. Um, please do like the video because it, when you like it, that gets people to see it. And um, yeah, take care and remember that honesty is always key. Bye.